of light is beaming in my eyes and your Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about helping you ladies get your shit together when you hit the snooze button way too many times and now you're scrambling to figure out what to do with the bird's nest on your head. Ladies, I've been there many, many times before and I'd like to let you know that there is a quick and easy fix for all of your hair problems. Whether your hair is greasy on top or super dry and brittle at the bottom or it just doesn't have that fresh wash scent, I've got you covered. So if you want to see my ridiculously easy one minute running late hair fixes, please keep watching. So the worst thing you can do when you have bed head is brush it out. Brushing your hair will remove any texture and shape that you do have. So instead of brushing it and risking making it worse, work with what you have and just comb through with your fingers. So on those days when your hair smells less than fresh, this is one of my favorite ways to freshen up my hair instantly when I'm in a rush. I'm taking my favorite body oil perfume and spraying it into my hands and just combing it through my hair. The reason I use an oil-based perfume is because alcohol-based ones dry out your hair. And my favorite one is this Angel Body Oil Perfume by Terry Mugler. Notice that the oil also puts back some beautiful definition into my messy hair. Just make sure that you don't use too much and don't put any product on your roots. Otherwise, you'll end up looking like a greasy mess. So if your hair looks like a hot mess like mine does now, add some shape and style back to your hair with a hair wax or a glycerin-based lotion. I'm using my favorite facial moisturizer by the brand Sukin because it has a very high concentration of glycerin. And I'm only using it on the ends of my hair by putting some product on my fingers and coating my ends and twisting them. So just like a hair wax, glycerin is a mildly sticky substance that will allow you to shape your hair. So I did show you guys this lifesaver in my bro girl hair hack video, but I thought it's worth mentioning in this video again because it's a quick and easy hair fix that takes less than a minute and it also works better when your hair is more on the dirty side. So all you want to do is braid your hair into a three strand braid and do not untangle the ends as you braid. The ends will knot themselves creating a braid from the bottom up and when you can't braid anymore, take the end of the braid and pull it through the middle of the braid and out through the back to create an organic looking knot. This is the perfect messy braid to create when your hair is is super messy. So when your roots are looking like a greasy hot mess, one of my favorite ways to disguise them is by tying a turban. And all you need for this is just a plain old scarf and just tie it around the front of your head and tie it in the back. So all I did was tie the ends in the front, wrap them around each other, and then knotted them in the back. And then I'm pulling up the sides of the scarf just to cover up more hair at the top. So there are a ton of quick and easy ways that you can soak up the grease around your roots, such as using cocoa powder, cornstarch, baby powder, or dry shampoo to add volume to the roots, soak up oils, and freshen up your hair. One of my new favorites is this dry shampoo by Cake, and it smells like chocolate cake. It's absolutely amazing, guys. And it has a brownish tint to it, so if you have brown roots like I do, it would be perfect for you. So all I do is put some of the product in my hand, and then I comb it through the roots of my hair to soak up the oil and add extra lift to my roots. So if your hair is looking a little less than put together, there are several methods of distraction that I want to share with you. So the first one is using an embellished headband. An embellished headband is a quick way to add polish to your hair and is a great distraction from greasy roots. So this is one of my favorite methods of distraction when I want to take away from my messy, not so clean hair. I feel like it instantly gives my hair a more polished look and it looks great when my hair is down in a high ponytail or in a low bun. And all I did was take my sunglasses and put them on the top of my head. The next method of distraction is using a hat. Need I say more? Okay, so this one's gonna sound counterintuitive, but it actually works wonders. Instead of trying to tame messy hair, exaggerate the look by lightly teasing the ends. This will create more messy texture and volume and make it appear like your hairstyle was intended rather than hair that's overdue for a good washing. So this is probably my favorite way of dealing with my messy hair when I just don't wanna bother with it. All I do is throw it back into a low bun by twisting my hair around itself and then I simply use a good strong hair elastic to secure the bun at the base. Another great way you can cover up greasy roots is by throwing it up into a messy high ponytail. So all I'm doing here is just throwing it up into a high ponytail and then once I secure my ponytail in place and I have the shape around the front of my face the way that I like it, I'm going in with my hairbrush and gently teasing the hair in the ponytail to make it a little bit more messy looking so everything looks cohesive and intentional. 
And of course, when you've got messy, crazy looking hair, take advantage of that and throw it up into a messy bun. It's only going to make it look a lot cooler. And lastly, if you need a hairstyle that is going to do it all, cover up your greasy roots and cover up your dry, messy ends, look no further than a messy milkmaid braid. So all I did was split my hair down the back and I'm braiding each half into a regular three-strand braid. And I'm using the same method that I used to braid my organic three-strand self-knotted braid. Come on, who has time for hair elastics? So I'm just creating the same braid on both sides and then I'm taking one braid at a time and just draping it over the top of my head and pinning it down with a bunch of bobby pins all right my darlings so that wraps up my quick and easy one minute running late hair fixes i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some inspiration for the next time you're going to be running late and need a quick hair fix let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below and let me know if you had any favorites if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel to see more videos like this one you can also follow the fancy hair instagram account for daily hair inspiration you know in case you didn't get enough of that on my youtube channel thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i hope to see you in my next video